Hello guys, welcome back to Rover's Return, episode 25, and this episode is going to be a bit of an interlude episode just before we do play Manchester United in the Carabao Cup, but I just wanted to update you in between, so I'm not playing like a, a solid 12 games without updating you, obviously. We play Brighton away from home, but I'm going to catch up with what happened since last time, and it's been a pretty good run so far. Last time out, obviously, we played Aston Villa, a 2-1 win, a second half comeback, which was a decent little comeback for us. Kamara really coming into his own in this game. Hozek not really turning up in these games that I really want him to, but Travis and Tenali proving to be a nice two in that midfield. Then we went to Astana, a one all draw. It wasn't a fantastic game, really. I, 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 what, I've, what I'm realising is I need a back up right back. We've got ranking stinking Castillo at this right back role, and he's just not good enough in this right back role. We've got a lot of players that can play these wing spots, but I do need to bring in probably a right back at the start of next season. So back up players. Kaminsky coming in doing a job for us. Nudson and Methan doing very well for us as well. The overall way the game went, we didn't play too bad. It's just we did give away an 80 first minute goal. So it was a draw, came at the deficit of us probably just not playing too well at the back. It wasn't a fantastic game, but at the end of the day, we're through. We've qualified, we're through with the top of the league. Then, an absolutely massive game. I mean, this game just didn't go Man City's way at all. I think it was just a little blip for them, but at home against Manchester City, 2-0. A nice 2-0, a very a penalty saved by Larson Year. As you can see, their graph was absolutely mega, but uh, to be honest with you, if their graph, if they didn't have that penalty, I think their graph would have just peaked. You're looking at uh, maybe perhaps just about where we peaked as well. So their penalty came with the cost of us, but fantastic game for us. Adam Armstrong doing the business twice. I'll show you the goals. So here we are. Bowen makes a big run from at the very back of our defence then slots it through. Todd Armstrong, he puts that past Edison, a beautiful little goal. Then Dembele, Karamako Dembele plays a lovely ball into Adam Armstrong. He turns his man and puts that past Edison in the 90th minute to seal the game for us. I can't believe it as much as you can't believe it. I've, I've put in this like 4-2-3-1 now, where I've got two different varieties where I can push up a bit further forward with two central midfielders, but then two defensive midfielders as Tonali can play either role. He can play in that defensive midfielder role or that central midfielder role. A fantastic player, deep line playmaker, support, uh, defend. So he's got the tackling, he's got the physical capability. You can just do it all, Tonali. He's such a fantastic player. But yeah, a fantastic result against Man City. That puts us above them in the league as well, so overall a great game. Then we went to Mulder, we beat Mulder 3-0. Mulder just not having a quality side at all. I'll just, run you through the, I'll just run you through the goals for this game. Here we are, so Dembele has it on the right, then he plays it back towards Ronaldo, he plays it through to Adam Armstrong, and he puts that in the back of the net. A fault by their defender, then Greg, the great ball in, and Mepham, the fantastic goal, then Adam Armstrong scores a penalty, and that we basically secured the win just before half-time. A fantastic game by Adam Armstrong. Greg had a fantastic game out there, really coming into his own now. I think Arsenal wants to sign him. He's really coming on leaps and bounds. I'm really enjoying seeing how he's progressing. Could do a bit better with the balance and maybe the pace. His strength is getting up there now, but yeah, this guy is going to be a superstar. Then, probably another surprising result, an away win against Spurs. This Spurs side, Edouard up front. I think that's Rafael Liao, yeah. Al Deli Ali, Sanchez, Gila, Lazari. I mean, they've got a Strakosha in there. Thomas Strakosha is a very good goalkeeper as well. I mean, they've got a fantastic side. And we've managed to go and nick a point against them. Adam Armstrong with the goal. Our defence set up very well. We played counter-attacking football. We weren't always on the ball. We didn't play a fantastic game. But we were just progressing through. We had five shots three on target. They didn't really capitalise on their shots on target. Fantastic result again against probably one of these top six sides. Then it all had to come to an end at some point, And it did. It came to an end against uh, Lasan. Sorry, Lasan. I'm not going to complain any about this game. We played pretty well defensively. I I've got to admit, we played very well defensively. I played Travis and Dak in like a central midfielder position with Greg in there. Because they on the right. Hozek on the left. Adam Armstrong up front did a bit of the business, as you can see. We started off slow, but then came into the game a lot. We just didn't capitalise on our chances. It was just a, a, a case, probably, of the, like, the Tottenham game, but in reverse, where we just didn't capitalise on the chances. And we ended up losing 1-0, but we've topped the group anyway at this point. I did rotate the side out because we were playing against Brighton today, where I want to try and get a big result. So here we have it. As we stand in the league now, we are 10th. We have two games in hand on Brentford, a game in hand on Tottenham, a game in hand on City which can see us go into 7th today, which would be a big, big push for us. I mean, Tottenham play Brentford as well, so actually, that's a lie. We can see ourselves going to probably around 8th. We have a game in hand, two games in hand on Wolves as well. We're only sitting four points behind them, so two wins on the trot can see us potentially go above them, and then we'll be, we'll be set to get into this 6th position. Manchester United playing very well, Leeds playing very well. We have three games on them as well. They're only sitting six points ahead of us. So it's, it's getting pretty tight towards the top, as you can see up here. If we win both of our games in hand on Leicester, Liverpool, for example, we only sit three points behind them. 
So we're pushing for these top spots really. It's going to come as the next episode will probably be at around the halfway mark, that at 19 played games mark. So it's going to be a tough running. Midway through the season, I've got near enough 30 odd points, high 20s amounts of points. I'll be very, very happy. So tactically today, I'll just take you through what I'm going to do. So we're going to bring Nyambe back in, obviously. We need Popov back in here. Uh, Mepham's been playing too well to really take him out of the side as of yet. I think Kilman probably deserves to play a bit more, but he, I just can't bring Popov out. He's just too good a player. As you can see from his stats, he's too good a player. Then Tonali sits in that deep line playmaker role with Lewis Travis. Then right wing, we go back to Jared Bowen. We bring back in Arman Kamara. Hlozek's picked up an injury, so Penaranda will start ahead of him. Still four injuries, but it shows our depth now that we can still have a fantastic side to put out there. I'm going to go positive. I'll show you the formations now. So this is the 4-2-3 one we've got where we go a bit more attacking. We then have a 4-2-3 one where we sit in a bit deeper. We're sitting a bit deeper, but we still have the attacking threats forward. This major issue is in, in the middle of the park, really, but it allows us to get forward down the flanks. There we go. I'm going to submit the team, and we'll get straight into the action. Here we go. We've kicked off, and I've just noticed that they've got Lamptey playing in that role on the right back. So as good as Lamptey is, I think he's a, he gets forward a bit too much. I'm going to try and go down that left-hand side as much as I can during this game. Hopefully we can get something from this as we're playing about out from the back, Barcelona-esque, as Bowen comes down this right-hand side now. It's not the left, but he's managed to get tackled there and potentially we're going to see Trossard get forward and Brighton spark a counter-attack, but Bowen picks it up. He's going over to this left-hand side now. Penaranda's there. Lamptey doesn't put a tackle in. I thought that might have been a goal there. Claudio Ramos clutches it into his grasp and Popov, he's bringing it out from the back, plays it towards Bowen. I like the way we start from the back. Bowen cuts inside. It's, it's like an action replay of what happened before. Bowen coming forward again, plays it backwards. I'm liking how we're recycling this. Tonali to Magic Adam. Ronaldo now plays through Tonali. And Tonali with a great goal. First, second goal of the season, should I say, sorry. Kamara, Ronaldo with another. Or Ronaldo, Kamara, I can't remember which way around it is. Another assist for him. He's really coming to his own now. 19 years of age. He's still very young. We've got a pretty young squad, to be honest. Tonali, Ronaldo, even Adam Armstrong, who you think would be like a veteran sort of player for this club. He's actually 25 years of age, so we've got a pretty young squad out there. Nyambe, Larsenier, Popov, Mepham. Mepham's at 25. Alazo is at 28, obviously, and Travis may get, not really getting on, but all, the older lot. So they're around 25 years of age, all the players we've got, which is pretty good. Penaranda coming forward now. Adam Armstrong, he's not thrown goal, but he's nearly thrown goal. He gets tackled. Lamptey brings it away. And now Kovalenko comes forward. Can we maybe get a tackle in here? He can't. He's done very well, Kovalenko. He's gone all the way down the right-hand side. A cross in, and it's fallen to Trossard at the back post. And it's one all now. Poor, poor defending here. Kovalenko is turning. Is that Nyambe? I think it's... No, no, it's Ronaldo. Where's Nyambe? Nyambe is nowhere to be seen. Ronaldo getting turned inside out. Oh, no, Nyambe doesn't even play that. Alaza. Where's Alaza? Oh, he's playing even... He's playing a bit narrower, but Ronaldo got it turned inside out there. And it's not fantastic. Now, Alaza on the free kick, though. Here we go. Ball in. It's a dangerous one, but now... Brighton can counter-attack and they've got fast plays. They've played Sandro through. Can he finish? He does. And that's a fantastic counter-attack by Brighton. This is very poor from us. That uh, absolute tragedy going back. Who's this now? Nyambe just loses his man. The centre-back's not... Well, Travis not picking up his man either. And that was very poor. Very poor communication at the back. And now we're sitting 2-1 down in the space of probably about a few minutes. And I'm not very happy about that. Six minutes. United losing 2-1. Brewster with... With a brace. We need to try and get back into this game. I'm going to demand more from the lads just before we come into the dressing room. I'm going to see what we can do here. Penaranda. Look, I know that wasn't good enough, blah, blah, blah. The key thing is to pump up the fist and tell them they weren't as bad as it seemed. Try and get forward. Try and do your bit. Tactics-wise, we're taking off Penaranda. He's not had a good game out there at all. Who can we play on that left-hand side? We've not really got anyone who can play on that left-hand side as an inside forward. In fact, he's going to have to stay on, actually, then. He's going to have to stay on. When they start the second half, I'm going to see how we can perform in this second half if we've hyped them up enough. Right, we're in the 63rd minute now and the, actually there's a highlight here is they've got the ball away. Tonali picks it up. We're going to build up from the back. Tonali now plays the ball forward to Kamara Ronaldo who plays a beautiful ball to Bowen who doesn't finish that off. That was a beautiful ball. It's Claudio Ramos again. Plays it out from the back for Brighton. Lamptey. I'll make a few changes after this highlight. Roland now. Travis sticks a foot in it. It's a great foot. Balaza. Travis now. Into Alaza again. Tonali. Can he find the ball forward? We've got a few men on the right hand side. Tonali's going forward. Bowen into Tonali again. Bowen curls when it hits the outside of the post. Oh, we're going. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stick to attacking. We can't do it. We can't go more attacking. Penaranda's having an absolute shocker out there. We've got to change it up. I'm going to bring on Greg. Greg can play as a advanced playmaker attack on this left hand side. 
Still sits a bit deep. I'm going to get Travis a bit further forward. I'm going to play him. Oh, I think I'll play him as a box to box just to try and get him a bit further forward. I'm going to play Nyambe as a wing back support. I'm going to get the supports going a bit further forward. And other than that, we've had a pretty decent game out there. I mean, Mepin, not, not a fantastic game himself. But I think we've played okay. We're going to pump them up again, encourage the team. And now let's see what we can do as we go into the last 20 minutes. Right. We're in the 78th minute now. I've just gone attacking. And now Brighton are coming forward. Roland plays it. Oh, look at that. As soon as I go attacking, Ronaldo's looking a bit worse for wear. I'm going to have to take him off. Um, I'll bring on Bradley Dax, see what he can contribute to the side. And as well as that, Owen and Tonali really need to stay on. I'm going to bring Travis off. I'll bring Davenport on just to try and get forward a bit more. I'm going to berate the side. We're playing awful out there. Get further forward. Get some goals going. I mean, look at the expected goals. Brighton in real life as well, expected goal merch. We've managed to lose a game here. And that is awful. Flash arms. I expect to see you in training tomorrow. That was a dread, especially after we played against Tottenham. I mean, I can't believe it myself, but we're playing incredible football. This game, this, this season has been a bit odd. Brewster picking up a tat trick against Man United. 4-1 for them. Kane doing a business for Tottenham. 2-1 for Brentford. But us losing 3-1 to Brighton, who sit below us as well. All poor game. Probably shouldn't have gone positive in hindsight, but is what it is and now we go forward to where we will be looking at playing Manchester United yeah Manchester United in the next episode I'll play through the next six games I'll join you back there where we have an unbelievably hard January like look at that we've got a game every three get every three days we play United twice Liverpool Arsenal and Everton Chelsea as well it's going to be a hard month but if you can get through this month a nice little running in February a beautiful little March difficult April and then a nice little May where we can try and beat Chelsea on the last day of the season and we'll see what we can do but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe if you are new and I shall catch you in the next episode where we will be playing Manchester United in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals I'll see you there have a great day ciao